Hi, I'm uh, Pete Cullen. I'm currently the Royal Society Nori Murray Research Professor at the University of Bristol in the School of Biochemistry. I was awarded a prize in, uh, or a list of fellowship as it was back then in 1999. Um, I was already a lecturer at the University of Bristol in Biochemistry and the uh, the fellowship allowed me to go back to the bench basically so I could go back and I completely changed the direction of the research we were working on. So we were working on how um, small GTPases at the, at the cell surface were being regulated by proteins associating with the cytosolic leaflet of the plasma membrane. But then we decided with the LISTA funding to change the direction and start to look at the molecular mechanisms by which integral membrane proteins get sorted through the endosomal system, which is present in all eukaryotic cells. And it's really vital system for controlling a whole host of organelle function. And so we wanted to understand how that system was organized and functioned within mammalian systems. It essentially allowed me to, to refocus the lab. So because I didn't have the teaching commitments, because the fellowship, I used the fellowship money to uh, to cover my teaching by appointing a, a temporary uh, lecturer. It allowed me to have that sort of intellectual freedom to go and, and go into a completely new field. We'd never worked on this system in the past. I went to loads of conferences and sat at the back and tried to understand what was going on and trying to re-educate myself essentially. Um, and without that five-year window of being able to do that, I would never have been in a position whereby I then got subsequent welcome program funding that then allowed me to build the lab and completely change the direction that the lab was going in over the subsequent years. We're now in another transition period really. So with the Raw Society funding, that has allowed me again to, um, to take the money from the Raw Society and, and the university has appointed a temporary lecture to cover my teaching. So I have five years of funding now, which is allowing us to take the information that we have and the knowledge that we've gained over the last sort of 15, 20 years of Lister support to basically start to apply our molecular knowledge to neurodegeneration. So it, it turns out that a, a number of the complexes and the protein machinery that we've identified and been working on now seems to play a role in neuroprotection in age-related Alzheimer's as well as Parkinson's. So if we want to move our science away from our molecular understanding into more translational or begin to think about a translational route, we need to start thinking about Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and other neurodegenerative diseases. For me, that's a completely new field again. I'm not a neuroscientist. I've never been trained in neuroscience. But again, that period of freedom of five years of funding from the Royal Society is now going to allow us to begin that transition.